Guys, how we doing? We're gonna take you inside the belly of the beast today on just how you sell a gator. So stick around. And I wanna mention really quickly, we are sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers, all right? So if you're in the market for wheel spacers, add some stability to your tractor, your truck, your gator, check out Bora, link down below. So lo and behold, my brother behind the camera there is in the market for a gator. I just happen to be selling my gator. This works out pretty well, doesn't it? Now he has all sorts of hardball questions for me. Hopefully I can help him answer those. But if you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button right down below and read through that description as well to get all sorts of helpful links for tractor, maybe gator owners too. All right, Chris, fire away. What kind of questions you got? Well, the first one's pretty easy. I think, what does UTV stand for? UTV, that stands for Useless Terrain Vehicle. Uh, okay. Um, well, since it's a terrain vehicle, how is it at getting through difficult conditions? Uh, you know, like what you see right here is about an ideal condition for this kind of gator. Um, kind of all sorts of terrain, relatively flat, smooth, Paved surfaces are really ideal for it. Uh, you kind of want to avoid anything that's too muddy or too deep of snow. It's not really designed for that. I mean, look, there is terrain literally everywhere you see around here. Uh, okay, all sorts of terrain. So then it's probably pretty impossible to get this thing stuck. Well, eh, impossible, you know, that depends on your situation. I mean, again, we're talking this kind of terrain here no ground clearance issues at all. I mean, if we're talking deeper mud, like four or five inches deep, or I don't know, a half a foot of snow, it's not really designed for that kind of situation. I mean, you can see right here, this is why it excels. It is not even in danger of getting stuck at all. I mean, if this thing got stuck somewhere, it wouldn't be sitting here in front of your eyes right now. Well, let's say I take this into some slightly less than ideal condition. Pushing the limits, okay. Not a backyard. Not a driveway. Not recommended, but okay. And I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. What's my option? Well, you know, you're, you're well equipped. Come on back here, I'll show you. So take a look at this right here. Got our winch right here, just in case you need it. That looks nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's really nice. Uh, what's the rating on that winch? Oh, this is 4,500 pounds. Oh, so that'll pull this thing out easy. This thing weighs, what, 2,000-ish? I... <sighs> Theoretically, so if you are, you know, facing the exact direction that you need to get pulled out of and you got a tree, I don't know, 10, 15 feet away, you're just on nice dry ground and there's maybe just a, a few small sticks or stones or nothing too big in your way, this is going to work really well. So, I mean, this is about all you need in that kind of scenario. That rope looks like it is in two pieces. I, you know, I mean, in a lot of areas, this is just really an assist mechanism, okay? You just need to use, you know, a tractor, a truck, some other kind of vehicle to pull it out. This is just going to kind of help out, okay? All right, so maybe a bigger winch would have been better because then you don't need to get a truck involved. Yeah, that's a really good point. And uh, I would have done the same thing myself, except those larger winches just require too much amp draw. And the battery on this thing just can't handle it. Oh, so, yeah, speaking of the battery... Is it at least easy to access? Uh, well, you know, I mean, easy is a relative term, right? It's, it's right down here, just behind, kind of tucked away. Let me show you real quick. Hey, so right here, tucked behind this plastic panel. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot. Tucked behind the plastic panel, and then it's way back here, this battery. So you don't really have to service batteries very often, right? I mean, there's hardly anything that ever goes wrong, but if you needed to, I don't know how you get the battery out, okay? But that's something that you would just take that into a dealer to have done because, you know, who knows how to replace a battery? Take it into a dealer? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, you know, you're talking like once every six years or something for a battery, right? What am I seeing up above that, the air filter? Oh yeah, this right here. Yep, that's the air filter. Yeah, yeah, right down below and, and kind of nice and accessible there. Doesn't seem like the best location for me. Well, no, it's, it's really not. And there's been a lot of complaints about this. So John Deere listened to those complaints and they came out with a retrofit kit where you can take it and, and relocate it way up high here. So they'll, they'll just send that to me. Yeah, you pay them for that upgrade so that it fixes this bad location. And then uh, you can just mount it yourself and install it after you pay them the, the few hundred dollars that it costs. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, okay. We're, we're done. What else you got? What other... 
What other questions do you have? Well, what's up with that tailgate? Oh, uh, it's just getting broken. So this thing is almost brand new still, right? It's only got like 20 some hours on it. And so, you know, it's just, everything's so dimensionally tight, you know, just such small tolerances that uh, they almost kind of have to work themselves in there. You see how it closed really easy right there, right? So, and it, you can sit on it too, which is really nice. So if you just want to yeah, hang out. That's impressive. You know. Yeah, it's, it's really peaceful. I mean, look at this. It even's got a measuring stick on the back here, which 44 inches. I mean, that's not quite big enough for the fish I catch, but uh, probably for the ones you're gonna catch. So what else you wanna know about this bad boy? Well, is that uh, plow right there pop on and off real easy? Well, so typically the first time you do anything, it is more of a pain in the butt than anything else. Hopefully there's some um, lessons learned in this setup here, but it is not exactly super easy to do uh, yeah i mean it's uh it's not something i'd want to tackle right now but uh, when the time comes um and i feel like i've got the energy you know maybe first thing someday when i'm full of energy is when i'll take that off um it's a two-person job you want to have a buddy or a brother or something to help you out can i peek at the inside oh yeah for sure come on take a look Okay, so this is a diesel, right? Oh yeah, yeah, diesel and power, baby. So pretty quick. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's gonna get you where you need to go. Uh, you're not gonna win any races, so I'll tell you that. What if I need to drive it on the road and get up to speed quick? Yeah, no, that's a that's a fair question. I mean, again, this thing's called a gator, right? I mean, gators are not fast on land, so why would you expect one of these things to be fast on land? You're gonna get from point A to point B. You just need to plan ahead. Tell me about the transmission. It's got the transmission. Got a smooth shift? Uh, well, yeah, you know, it's getting, you know, I've got 20 some hours on it now and it's it's getting smoother. It's not quite there yet, but I, I think it's gonna, it's gonna really keep on smoothing out this way. You know, you can see it's already getting smooth. This is way better than it was, yeah. Yeah, okay, you got parking brake at least down there, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you just, uh, yeah, you just push it down like that. And lock it like that's a piece of cake. Hmm. All right. And then the plow controls right there. It's the same hand you use to shift. That's right. So yeah, it's an easy transition. You want to go forward and then backwards, and and then you just move your hands back over here and adjust it how you want to. It's like it'd be better if you had two right hands, you know, one for each of these. But you definitely get used to it with just one hand. It's just not very efficient. Okay. But you know, but take a look at the seat cover. Real nice seat cover here. And uh, you got great vision. This front window opens up. You got a nice mirror here. That seat cover come with it? No, I mean, it had to pay extra for it. But uh, I figured those cloth seats in here were just going to get... This is a, a utility terrain vehicle. I mean, you're going to get all sorts of dirt and mud in here, so you don't want to get your cloth seat dirty. This is the 865R. Oh, yeah. That means it's trimmed out with everything. Decked out, yeah. I'm not seeing a radio there. Oh, well, I, I mean, shh, just be quiet real quick. Who needs a radio? You got the sound of nature all around you. But if you want, if you want, we can add one on for a cool thousand, maybe fifteen hundred bucks, okay? For a radio? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, installing everything. Oh yeah. One of my favorite features. Is that a power window? No, no, these are the manual roll-ups. I mean, kiss principle, you know what? Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Great advice. Hurts my feelings every time. But who needs one more electrical widget to go wrong? Wait, has something gone wrong? Well, nothing electrical. No. I mean, we broke the axle, snapped the winch cord. It took three days to get it unstuck. But I mean, that's what the warranty's for. You know, six weeks later being in the shop, not being able to use it, this thing is good as new and ready for you. So what do you say? Uh, I think I gotta think about it. I haven't even asked you. What do you want to use this thing for anyway? Well, truthfully, I just need something to haul cardboard from the garage to the burn pit. Wow. Perfect. You're going to want to see this. Come here and check it out. You get yourself a big old pile of cardboard in here, all you got to do is hit a button. Look at that. Pretty sweet, huh? Weren't you just saying electric, one more thing can go wrong? Well, yeah, but can you put a price on convenience? 35 grand? Yeah, right around there. Hey, 
if you're gonna do something, do it right. Do it in style. Well, Courtney, uh, you're an honest salesman. That's right. I think I gotta go home and sleep on this. Well, I mean, this thing is just hitting the market, so if you don't think fast, it's gonna be sold quick. I can guarantee it. I might be okay with that. Suit yourself. You know, try to help your brother out. All right, guys, well, that's it. You know, the Gator is truly for sale. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's just not gonna suit my application like I hoped. So if you're in the market for one, now is a good time to get a nearly new piece of equipment at a pretty darn good price. Head on over to goodworkstractors.com. But if you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below and read to the description underneath the video, all sorts of helpful links down there. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.